Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Pisces? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this reading, Pisces, I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. To new viewers, cross watchers, please come on in. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. Listen, I don't know your life, so you're going to have to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. But I need you to stay with me. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in all of my readings, okay? So, at the bottom of the deck, I see that you are trying to make a decision, something that you're not happy about, Pisces. There can be a lot of gossiping going on around you. Um, you could be the talk. There could be a third party. There could be some... some, some yeah, you're not happy about a third party situation. And you're trying to make a decision about, okay, this is what Spirit Guides is telling me. You're trying to make a decision about this third party situation. Someone you're dealing with, it's like you're hearing rumors, you're hearing gossiping. Uh, you're trying to decide, it's almost like you like, you know, should you should you believe what you're hearing or not? However it goes, you're definitely not happy, okay? But you 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 feel like this gossip that you're hearing is that someone is actually juggling you, all right? This person has you in a third party situation, and this has nothing to do with um, maybe a job or taking no. This third party situation has something to do with this person. Is you and someone else. Now you've been hearing the rumors about it. Page of Swords in the reverse is all about gossip. Okay. You've been hearing rumors about it. But you, you know, and you're not happy about it. And so you've been in high isolation. And your heart is broke. Okay. And this, this has really, this, this what you heard really, really bothered you. Really broke your heart. Because I feel like... <clears throat> Three, three, <laughs> excuse me. See, something don't want me to get this out. 33, three, three, okay. Uh, third party situation, isolation. Um, you're not happy. You're broken. You're heartbroken. Whoever I'm talking to. This may not resonate with everyone, but you've been hearing rumors. I feel as though that Pisces... This person or whoever this is that's juggling you, okay, I feel like you've heard this before. You, you've you heard it, but you, you know, it's almost like, you know, you've heard it being mentioned it's like, nah, I, you know, that's not true. You've heard this several times. It broke your heart the first time, even though you didn't have proof. OK, you just hearsay. And I feel like you're the type of person that, you know, you got to see it for yourself or you got to. It's got to be coming from a source that, you know, it's not don't have any intentions, you know, to tell you a lie. So this pain, this hurt, this pain, I feel like you really feel like. You know, in this time, this, 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 this third pain, this third, I feel like you done heard this more than one, two times. Okay. This, I feel like you believe in it now and your heart is broken about it. Yeah. When I did your pre-shuffle Pisces, the first card came out was the Knight of Cups in the reverse, which was the, the that's the deception. That was the deceit. This person been lying. It's like, it's almost like every time you ask this person about it, they lie, you know, they're lying. It's like they, they have covered it up. When you feel it in your bones, okay, yeah, the moon card at the bottom of the deck, secrets, could be a Scorpio, could be a Council Pisces Scorpio. Very strong in here. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be a Leo. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's just what the cards represent. But this person definitely holds a lot of secrets, okay? Yeah, look at here. Obsession. Look at here. The devil card in the reverse. This person may have some type of obsession, okay? 
they could have some kind of obsession, secret, you know, like, like they're never satisfied. They got to have more than one woman, more than one man. Okay. So the third party situation is like, they could have two other people. Okay. It could be a job, you and somebody else. It could be all three, you and two other people. It can, you know, and it, with the devil in the reverse is telling me that this can go two ways that, um, you, you know, this person holding secrets, the secret is that they're, they have an obsession. That's what the secret is. Yeah. For some of you, you may have released this person. Okay. Five, five, five just came up on my screen. You ready for a new beginning? Excuse me. You ready for a new beginning? For some of you, you may have released this person. Not all of you, because the three of swords is still in the upright. You have not healed from this. This person has a secret addiction. If this person is not with someone else, they have a secret addiction. Maybe they drinking, maybe they, they're doing some drugs, something you don't know about. Maybe they have a sex addiction. Okay, maybe they have a video game, they do video games, they're addicted to that. Whatever it is, they hold, they're definitely in secret. Secret exception, uh, uh, obsession. And you're tired, it's like you done heard, you done heard the rumors several times and it breaks you, you're not, you're just not happy. Like I said, this may not resonate for all of you. Yeah, the world card in the reverse. You're not ready to let go. You know, as bad as you're hurting, you're not ready to close this chapter. If you're not ready to close this chapter, this person is not ready to close this chapter. This person is not. Maybe you're ready to release this person, but this person is not wanting to close the chapter with y'all. They don't want you to close this door, but you're tired of the repeating, the repeating cycles of third party situation, hearing gossip. You know, it's like it puts you in isolation. You're unhappy. You're depressed. Okay. Anxiety and you're tired. Yeah. With the King of Cups, it fell right on the Hermit card in the reverse. All right. You can have Virgo. In your, somewhere in your placement, but you know, you have no feelings. It's like you're numb. King of Cups in the reverse. Spirit guys, tell me more. Yeah, this person definitely has an obsession, Pisces. And I feel like this has been going on way before you even met this person. Yeah, you have no feelings, and the two of, two of wands landed right on the isolation, no feelings. You're thinking about, uh, with the two of wands, uh, your future. You don't want this in your future. You're thinking about your future. Yeah. Some of you definitely cutting this person out of your life. You're tired. The Ace of Swords is all about it. You know, I feel like you have, you said some stuff to this person. Your words cut this person. You got it off your chest after all this time that you said, I done put up with this long enough. This can be masculine energy, fin, you know, fem, feminine energy. But whatever it is, you, you, you're tired. You're cutting this person out. And I feel like, you know, you just let them have it. You let her have it. You let him have it, however it go. Some of you, yeah, you definitely cut. You said, I can't take this. This person has an obsession. Like I said, it could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It can be women. It could be men. They can't just stick to one woman, one man, or they could just have a sex addiction. Okay? Something they're addicted to. Lying, 
that's what they're addicted to, lying. <laughs> they have an addiction to lying, lying, cheating, stealing, always. When I told you your pre-shuffle was the Knight of Cups in the reverse, which was deception, lying. They have, a, they have that. They just have it. I feel like this person used this tax tactic, you know, when they meet a woman or a man, you know, you would you think that, oh, this is the one for me. OK, this is the one for me. When and then <laughs> after a while, you see the true colors. And so the gossip, the, the, the you know, you heard the rumors, the rumors uh, more than one, two, three times. You heard the rumors that this person is, you know, this or that, this or that. That he cheats, she cheats, lies, you know, steals, you know, very, very secretive. Uh, they have an addiction. And you didn't want to believe it. You didn't want to believe it. You didn't want to believe it. Show me more. Thank you. There it goes. I can't make this up. There it goes. Didn't I tell you in your pre-shuffle? The, the Knight of Cups in the reverse came out, which is the Deceit, the Lion card. This is someone you have history with. Maybe you dealt with this person six years. Okay? Plus years or whatever. Deceit. The obsession is that they lie. They lie. Very negative, immature energy. And I feel like you just don't see this person the same. You just don't see this person the same no more. You could be married to this person. You can maybe um, you're married and you have you, you both have a partnership together. Maybe you have a business together, but you're tired. You, you, you're just tired of the lies, the cheating, this, you know, this obsession, this, the lies, the secrets. Here it, here it is. That was in your pre-shuffle. This person is obsessed with doing what he or she does. And they do it well. It's what I'm trying to tell you. They do it very well. This could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Capricorn. Sagittarius. <gasps> Excuse me. Yeah, they do this very well. And with this card that came out is stability. I feel like this person, whoever this is, they're very stable. I feel like this person act like when they're out and about around people, the secret, the, the, the illusion that they give people that they're single. When they are in a full-blown marriage or full-blown commitment or whatever, they, they, they paint this picture that they're single, they, that they got it going on, they stable. <clears throat> there it is. They breadcrumb. This person, he, she, whoever, you know, reverse the roles. I don't know your life. That's what they do. I feel like this person has money and they and they use this, you know, to stabilize their lives. As I, if, if I if I may say. Stabilize their lives, that they lies, their deceit energy, their their secrets. So they breadcrumb. They throw a little bit out at you to see how much you're going to take. And then they pull back. Then they pull, they pull a little bit more. It's like breadcrumbs, like, like little seeds to see how much you're going to take. To see, oh, can I play with her mind? Can I play with his mind? And da-da-da. And the next thing you know, they become hot, cold. Okay, they got you. Because you're yearning for them. <clears throat> so they play the hot and cold tactic. <clears throat> And so that tells me that that's how they get into this, this, this third party situation, you know, whatever it is. Now, if this pertaining to drugs, alcohol, they lie about it. No, I'm not. You believe everything you want to hear. That ain't true. 
until either some of you saw it for yourself or some of you, whoever, you know, told you, you know, it was a, it was the truth. But this person is known for breadcrumbing, treating people less than, acting like they love you and they don't. They just want that obsession, that obsession, that, that, that very thing that they, he or she is addicted to. Whether it's drugs or whether it's sex or whether it's alcohol, they're going to, they're going to lie about it because they want it. He or she wants it. And you have a lot of history with this person. The seed lies, the lies that they tell. A lot of secrets here. And your heart, your heart is broken because you're tired. I also get the energy that some of you now are single. You're no longer with this person, but this person don't want this daughter shit. You're single, you, you're stable, you're moving on, you're looking good, you're done with it. You cut this person out of your life. I also see that in the energy. Okay? You're stable. You, you got your own money. You li you, you're going towards your own life, but this person don't want this to end. That's because you woke up and you, you started seeing this person for who he was or who she was. Yep, some of you getting a divorce, some of you separated, legally separated, with 1111 in the reverse. I saw into it, let me see it. And now you are about to get some investments. I don't know who you are, but let me tell you something. Either it's from this marriage, from whatever, if you was married to this person. If you wasn't married to this person, you could have been living up under the same roof with this person. But with this card, if you, if you, um... I was married to this money, this per you married to this money, honey, you about to come out on top. Okay. Yeah. This divorce, alimony. Yeah. You about to, you about to, you about to be stable. You ain't got to worry about nothing. So some of you are divorced. Some of you single, divorced, stable. You got the house, you got everything or whatever. You couldn't take it no more. Yeah, you got frustrated. You know, you, you lost patience. Tell me more. I feel like this person, yeah, you, 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 don't, you don't have no love for this person. With the four of cups here, I feel like at one point in time, your person, uh, was trying to give you a cup. You say, nope, I don't want it. Get somebody else to do it. You have no, you have no feelings, no nothing for this person. You say, get somebody else to do it. You've been waiting a long time, whatever you've been wishing for, whatever you've been praying for, sweetheart, sir, it's coming in. Your wish has been granted. You're about to be stable to Pisces. You're about to get everything. Yeah, they're going to wish they did not do that to you. Okay, you got tired of it, but you're coming out on top of this. So whatever this addiction or whatever this obsession that this person had, you said that is enough. I have put in enough of time and I'm tired of my heart being broken. And you walked away and you left, but they don't want you to shut the door and you don't care what they want. Some of you don't got a divorce. Some of you in separation. Some of you are about to get that settlement from the divorce. If it's not that, you're about to come into a large amount of money. Uh, you're about to be stable. Your wishes are being granted. And baby, when I tell you, success is in your in your uh, DNA. Mm-hmm. You recovering from how this person treated you. You recovering from being left out in the cold. How they done you. Da da da. But you about to be the one that's about to walk away with it all. I'm Positive Thoughts of Energy Pisces. Until next time.